Hi, today we're going to be talking about the law of detachment and the law of syllogism. So, fear, even though these sound like big, complicated words, fear not, they're not too bad. So let's look at the law of detachment. It states that if P to Q is true, so if this conditional is true, and P is true, then Q is true as well. Fair enough. Let's look at the law of syllogism. So this says, if P to Q and Q to R are true, then P to R is true. This kind of reminds me of the transitive property, doesn't it? Okay, so let's look at this example, and we're going to apply the law of syllogism and detachment on it. So it says, if you are human, you live on Earth. If you live on Earth, then you drink water. You are human. Okay, so let's first do it for the law of detachment. I'm going to write it as law D. So, if you are human, is our P, you live on Earth. And there's kind of like an implied then here. So you live on Earth, is our Q. We know that you are human, the P part, is true. So the law of detachment says the Q must be true as well. So therefore we know that you live on Earth. Okay, now let's look at this um, next. Let's do the law of syllogism now. So law S. We also know that if you live on Earth, this is the same as you live on Earth, so that is Q. Then you drink water, so you drink water is R. So we know that P to Q is true, and Q to R is true. So then P to R must be true. So in this case, it'd be if you are human, then you drink water. So the law of syllogism gives us if you are human, then you drink water. Okay, so I hope that helped and I hope to see you soon.